So let's talk truck versus truck versus truck. Let's talk about the truck, the monster truck, and the little truck and uh, compare each of them. So they all share a, a bunch of the same features, which is uh, a pocket on the front, pocket on the back, uh, a good, si good size padded handles uh, with, fo with nice foam in them, nice and squishy. Uh, the same O-rings, uh, if that's what you're into. And uh, these little divided pockets here. So as I mentioned in my other videos, um, this is this is the truck that I bought with my own money earlier this year, and uh, I've used it from everything from going to the swimming pool to traveling with my kids to uh, just care for to groceries to just carrying stuff around. And while I love this bag and it has come in super handy, uh, it's always occupied a weird size space for me. Uh, so I was really excited when they were coming out with the monster truck and the little and the I keep calling it the little truck, the pickup truck. Uh, and so what I found was I was really excited about uh, what they were going to offer. So I've used this bag a ton, but it is definitely probably going to, I'm probably going to use the other ones more. So let's talk first about the pickup truck, or as I keep calling it, the little truck. Uh, so this is 11 liters, which is about half, it's, it loses about half the capacity of the um, truck, which is 25 liters. And it shares all of the same features. Uh, and as I mentioned in my other video, this one's really practical for me personally because it'll allow me to carry uh, my water bottles and my lunch and cookies that I bake and whatnot into work very easily. So this is definitely a welcome one in my collection. It's probably, it's my new favorite and it's probably going to be the one that I end up using the most. So uh, it's small enough to not be so awkward to carry with a bunch of water bottles in it, <laughs> as it were. And then we have the monster truck, the monster truck, a full 38 liters, which is about adding about 50% capacity over the truck. Again, these huge pockets that, that are just, that you can just stuff. And if you see in my video, you can see what I used it for immediately. A uh, weekend trip to my grandma's house, just stuffed full of kids stuff and clothes. So um, one thing that I've always kind of thought about the truck in general is these dividers are like its biggest strength because they add the, so much structure to the bag, but in a way they're kind of an Achilles heel because you can't do anything about them. I mean, you could cut them out, but then you're, you know, losing, you're destroying a bag and really not gaining much from it. So because you are not able to remove these or unzip them in any way, uh, you really can't expand these pockets. And because I used my truck to shop sometimes, I found very quickly that it was just too small. Uh, I could see myself taking this to Costco, it's where I usually shop. Uh, I could put in milk, a couple of bottles of wine, and then of course some bulky uh, Costco thing. So I might end up buying multiples of these just because I like them so much. Um, and because I think that they would be useful to a, for on a trip to Costco where I usually just throw it all in my car. Um, so in that way, this is definitely my new second favorite. Uh, I anticipate that I'll be using this for all sorts of things, uh, from picnics with the kids to traveling with the kids to, uh, grocery shopping and that the truck will go aside and maybe not be retired completely, but it'll kind of be like, uh, the little, you know, the little guy on the side that just, uh, does what it's good at. But I find for me that the bigger size of the truck and the bigger, the bigger size of the monster truck and the little truck, uh, the pickup truck fit my use more. So uh, fair to say that your mileage may vary, but there you go. Quick overview of all the trucks.